Welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. The incision is at around 11 o'clock. This is a side port, three clock hours away from the main incision on the left side. This is another side port, same distance away from the main incision on the right side. My plan is to use bimanual irrigation aspiration in this case. Now to demonstrate capsulorexis clearly I'm going to use tripan blue dye in this case. Otherwise, in this case, we can do rexis without using dye. I usually wash the dye out. PSS is used to wash the dye out. And now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber. And now is the time to do capsulorexis. SPMC is being applied over the cornea for better visibility. And now I take a uh, uterator forceps scratch the anterior capsule, raise a tag and move this tag anticlockwise in such a way that I get a continuous curvilinear capsulorexis of adequate size. Size of this rexis is about 5 millimeter. And now hydro dissection and hydro delineation. The nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated. Some more visco is injected into the anterior chamber. And now is the time to use the phaco needle to emulsify the nucleus. And I'm going to do direct vertical job in this case. Since the rexis is not very large, it is safe to use vertical job. And see, with my small chopper, I'm going to use this, to, to do this vertical job. Just the tip is buried just in front of the phaco needle and the crack happens antero posteriorly. That's why it is vertical chop. Now each nuclear fragment is emulsified and removed. Ultrasonic power used in this case is 60 percent. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. Epinucleus is also removed. And now cortical cleanup. In this case, I am going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration for cortical cleanup. Little bit of visco. And now I take the bimanual IA. Irrigation is from the right side port, aspiration from the left side port. In this case, I am going to try to remove the whole cortex at on go. Here it is. Starting from 11 o'clock, and now removing the cortex of 
two o'clock and ultimately the whole cortex has been removed at on go and this is hydro polish just by irrigation the lens fibers sticking to the posterior capsule is removed and now I'm going to implant a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens through a B cartridge that's why I have enlarged the main wound a little bit so the main wound is now about 3 millimeter here goes the lens this is a hydrophobic single piece monofocal intraocular lens since the size of the rexis is about 5 millimeter the optic the optical part of the intraocular lens is covered all around by a rim of anterior capsule now the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of the stab wounds this is a totally unedited surgery and you haven't missed anything you are not going to miss anything you are watching the full surgery this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber I prefer to do this with 23G Simcoe because I can clean the visco sticking to the posterior surface of the cornea that is from corneal endothelium very gently I can form the anterior chamber very nicely and that's why I use this instrument now the integrity of all the wounds are checked few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.